hello everyone welcome back to another Adobe of after effects tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you how to make this kind of animated 3d gaming overlay in adobe after effects so here you can see that i have already created this animation and now i'm going to show you how to make this kind of effect in adobe after effects so if you want to buy this template i'll be put a link in video description you can just buy it and use it in your gameplay video so now let's get started the video so here I am going to use some stock protest fonts and icon. So let me import them to Adobe After Effects. Ok now let's create a new composition. I am going with 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel and 30 frame rate per second. Duration I am going to use 10 seconds. Then hit ok. Now let's turn on proportional grid and go to photos. Let's drag our background photos to the timeline and let's adjust it press s and let's adjust its size so i'll place it to here now select this right click and pre-compose rename to background select move all attribute into the new composition so that we can change this background anytime later now select this go to effect and preset as search for first blur apply it and change blurness to 20 and check this repeat as this now back here to the photos and let's drag this move and place it here then change its mode to screen now select this rectangular tool and let's mask it something like this and press f to open mask feather and make it something like this now select this right click go to time time remapping and let's drag this anchor point to last on this frame and make it something like this now again let's select this smoke and drag it to the timeline also select this and adjust its size now let's drop this part again to the timeline again let's adjust its size and change its mode to screen now let's drag this particle video and drop it to the timeline also change it smooth to the screen and select this then again select rectangular tool let's again draw a mask something like this press f and increase mask feather like this now we'll select this particle go to time and time remapping drag this anchor point here and make it something like this now select all of this right click pre-compose and rename it to background comp and select move all the table to the new composition then hit ok and now let's type our text so i'm using a font called american captain you can download this font from the link in video description so type your text place it here now go to effect and presets and now search for gradient ramp apply it and let's change its color to something like this kind of yellow or white something like this now again select this go to effect and preset and search for glow apply it and change this color to something like this kind of yellow and let's make it something like this here you can change the font color anytime from here but for this tutorial i'm going to use the white color and now let's drag our icon so i'm going to use this instagram icon here and change its size to 5 drag it to this point and let's drag this youtube icon and place it here and also change the set to 3 so let's adjust its position now let's type another text for social media so i'm going to type ig username and i'm going to select this name and 
all of this effect from here go to edit copy and select this edit and paste now select this and place it here change its size something like this now select this press ctrl d and let's drag it something like this point and change to white username now let's animate this text and icon so let's start with this text so go to beginning of this composition select this click here then go to animate then add character offset and from here offset character make it 5 create a keyframe forward around 5 frames and then make it 0 so i think let's forward to 10 frames now you can click here let's add position and add opacity so go to here create a keyframe to the position now back and make it something like this now go to opacity create a keyframe back to something like 5 frame or maybe here make it 0 here 100% now select this position keyframe press F9 to make it this then click here and make it something like this so now you'll find something like this kind of text now for this select all of this go to something like this pen press p go to here create a keyframe then back to here let's drag them to outside of this frame and now let's make it something like this select all of this press f9 then click here and make it like this now it's time for this icons so select this at this point press s make it size to create a keyframe and make it size to zero then go to here make it three now for this press s create a keyframe go to this point and make it zero select all of this and right click on your mouse and make it to keyframe assistant as is now select this and click here and now let's click on this icon to hide this so that we can get more space here now go to project window go to photos and select this lightning photos drag it to the timeline and place it below this name go to here so this is the lighting let's close this for this time now select this footage and drag it to the timeline below this name now this is the effect press r and make it 90 degree and let's place it something like this point so you'll find something like this kind of effect Now select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate and let's drag it to here, press R and make it negative 90%. Now select this, drag it to something like this. Now let's import our character to this point. So select this character or this, which character you want to add here so now select this go to effect then go to king and select this k light 1.2 select the edge tool from here and click here so it will remove the green screen now let's drag this to something like this point now let's go to beginning of this composition let's turn off this audio 
select this press F and then forward 5 frames create another fit keyframe back to first keyframe and change its size to 0 now again back to the project window now select this okay now select this footage and turn on this select this go to effect in preset and search for tint apply it and change this color something like this kind of orange okay now select this and change this color something like this and select this again press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's change its duration to something like this place it to here now back to project window and again select this and drag it to here and let's place it to something like this point right click go to time and enable time remapping drag it to something like this point and let's make it like this so everything is complete now let's see the preview so this is the video so now let's see how to render this so as it is a transparent background so if you want to render it with transparent background then you need to go to composition then select add to render queue then from lossless select avi or if you have quick time then select quick time and from here select this video codec to animation hit ok now from here select rgb plus alpha and if you have audio you can turn it on as i don't have any audio and i'm going to turn it off then hit ok now click here select your output folder save then just turn on your caps lock then hit to the render button so it will start the render of this gaming overlay so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to subscribe my channel and if you want to buy this template so i will put a link in video description you can buy this template and all of this project file also link in video description so thank you so much for watching i will be back with new details soon till then take care